Christos uh, giving a talk about game dynamics. And uh, Christo, uh, it's, it's a great pleasure to see you from up close. And uh, yeah, the floor Same here for everybody. The floor is yeah. yours. Uh, amazing to be here. So let's see. Uh, uh, so there is uh, the Nash equilibrium. Uh, it uh, really started modern game theory, and uh, uh, I sh I'm sure you know that it started modern economics. Uh, so, uh, so 1950 was a watershed moment uh, because uh, 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 not only because uh, uh, this this. Tremendously important concept was defined, but also because uh, it inspired other people to do even greater things. Okay, like like uh, uh, prove Wallace's conjecture, uh, and uh, uh, it is uh, it has become the archetypical solution concept in game theory. By archetypical, I mean. Uh, that uh, everything else uh, is judged and compared with it. Okay, so um, uh, what I mean, you know, we have been singing its praises for for decades. All right, I mean, you know, it is elegant, it's compelling, it's universal, it, and I mean, you know, I'm going. I want to stop in bullet number two. That uh, what it is, it is uh, in some sense a powerful conceptual tool. In the following way, that it, it it's a license to all economists when they contemplate a design or a situation uh, to sit back and say, okay, let's see what happens at equilibrium. Okay, so so it's it's an incredible tool. It's an incredibly sculptor's tool. Okay, uh, and uh, and uh, uh, so Myerson, for example said uh, in 1999 that uh, the Nash equilibrium lies at the foundations of modern economic thought. I mean, I believe the bullet number two is what he thought, what, what he was thinking when he thought about when he said this. Uh, uh, I mean, the last quarter century, computer scientists have been uh, uh, mingling with economists to study game theory, economics, and certainly the Nash equilibrium. And uh, this has been always been even before before the AGT started a very uh, uh, tentative relationship. Okay, so you know because uh, uh, you know for some reason I mean I I am st I'm studying by this statement. Okay, it does not mix well with computation. Okay, uh, Nash did not have computation in mind when when he came up with it. Uh, for example, uh, it is intractable. Okay. Uh, and uh, and uh, even for two player games and uh, i mean no to to explicate this let me take you uh, 70 something years earlier uh, you know so this is i don't know if you know this exchange uh, uh, nash uh, told the von neumann what he had done and von neumann uh, the the best words that he could find to to uh, uh, encourage a young man who had accomplished something so you know <laughs> Uh, what's this? Okay, <laughs> so uh, uh, okay, so I mean, you know, and in some sense, I mean, you know, the 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 roots of compl the complexity lie there. Okay, uh, you know, the man was right. When so when they say the man, I mean the man. Okay, you know, yeah, 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 so uh, uh, that because uh, because uh, uh, the, the 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 source of natural equilibrium is a computational trouble if it is a fixed point in a generic way. Okay, it's just a fixed point, right? Uh, and uh, that, that, that it has no extra simplifying structure. Okay, it took a lot of work to prove it, but I mean, no, that, that, it has no extra. And therefore, a generic fixed point uh, 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 is uh, exactly what we mean uh, P by PPAD complete this day. Okay, good. Uh, so, but. Is intractability really bad news? I mean, why should economists care about this? Because I mean, we all have, uh, uh, we all know people who have made a decent and sometimes lucrative life by by solving epicomplete problems, so intractable problems. All right. So I mean, oh, 
does interactability mean anything? I mean, in practice, some would say not much, okay? Uh, uh, but in theory, okay? <laughs> the point is that Nash equilibrium was not meant as a, as a practical concept. Nash equilibrium was meant as a theoretical tool, okay? And uh, interactability is almost that amount of saying, as if Nash's theorem was saying, that for almost all prob uh, games, there is a Nash equilibrium. I'm, I'm here to uh, conjecture that if this was the proof, this was the theorem of Nash, of Nash uh, it wouldn't have been as, as, as uh, uh, famous, okay? Would not have launched modern economic thought. Okay. Uh, any questions? For example, uh, Roger Myerson, uh, nobody would take seriously a solution concept that is, it is empty for some games. Okay, and we know that there are these games that that uh, 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 Costis and I and our friends have constructed, uh, uh, which uh, I mean, you know, they are completely uh, out of this uh, universe. But still, I mean, you know, they don't have you know, essentially they don't have Nash equilibria, not in this universe. Okay, good. Uh, okay, so that's uh, one one theoretical problem, one computational problem of Nash equilibrium. There is more. Uh, uh, the second one is that it's not unique, okay? So it is uh, it is uh, not algori an algorithmic concept, okay? It's sort of, it's, it's not a prescription. It tells you uh, if they ever quiet, they're going to be do this this thing, okay? So, and uh, and uh, some very clever people, okay? So, you know, two Nobel laureates uh, tried to fix this, okay? Worked extremely hard, wrote a hard to read book, uh, <laughs> Which essentially is a complete flop. Okay. So, you know, so it's, you know, this is a quagmire. Okay. So, you know, if you try to, if you try, if the equilibrium selection problem sort of, you know, is, I mean, you know, has, has some, um, some amazing insights, sort of, you know, uh, like, like, like focal point and so on, you know, but what I'm saying, it's, 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 uh, it is a quagmire. It is, a, it is a lost cause. Okay. Uh, so, uh, when you tell economists, uh, uh, okay, I, I share your enthusiasm for, like, for, for Nash equilibrium, but consider one, two, and three, okay? So they say, eh, uh, the players eventually will get there, okay? However, here is a fact that uh, all known learning dynamics fail to convex to Nash equilibrium, okay? This includes dozens of learning dynamics that if you read between the lines of the papers, they were explicitly constructed to lead to Nash equilibrium. Okay, so there is a long list of, 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 of uh, attempts to create dynamics that lead to Nash equilibrium and they didn't go anywhere. Uh, uh, Often they sometimes do only uh, they, they converge other conditions like the game be zero sum or uh, one player has two strategies, okay, or both. So, uh, so I mean, you know, in some sense, that's another uh, uh, minus for for the Nash equilibrium. Okay, so you know that it doesn't even uh, seem to have dynamics that point to it. Okay, it does not mix well with dynamics. Uh, and be because, I mean, one of the perhaps the basic, uh, you know, the, one of the most uh, sort of uh, powerful uh, uh, reasons for this is, is what, what uh, Georgios and, and Panayotis uh, proved the, uh, the, other, the other year that uh, uh, this, uh, that uh, dynamics tend to cycle. Okay, so, in, in, you know, even in zero sum games. Okay. And uh, and uh, uh, even if uh, sort of you know you try hard for them not to. Uh, good. Uh, I think I've been talking about dynamics enough that I should explain what I mean by this. Okay, uh, a dynamics is something like this. Okay, so you know in other words, a a uh, uh, a, a motion of a point in uh, a well described motion of a point in, in high dimensional space. Okay, what is it? It is a semi my flow in, in domain X is a continuous map uh, from uh, the reals, uh, which is time, 
and x to x okay so uh, this uh, and must satisfy this okay so you know that that uh, uh, time adds up uh, okay so that's a semi flow why do i insist on semi flow there is no reason uh, mathematicians usually think about flows which means that things happen started uh, at minus infinity and uh, and uh, uh, when I say this, uh, my uh, audience starts uh, so you know starts looking at the ceiling. Okay, you know, but you know, but flow is something we understand. Okay, now is zero, and what will happen in the future? Okay. Uh, okay. So equivalently, I mean, you, know, you can you can do it another way. Uh, is a direction and speed of motion at each point. Okay, a vector at each point, because if you have this. Uh, it's not exactly equivalent. This this lead, leads to differential flows, uh, differentiable flows. Uh, but uh, but uh, if you have uh, if you have uh, if you have the direction and the speed of motion, you can integrate and find the flow, the semi flow. Okay. Uh, so this is this is what uh, equilibrium is. I have spent uh, the previous slides telling you that uh, people have been trying to find. Uh, uh, such things that converge to Nash equilibria. Therefore, I presume that this question that I'm stating here, uh, this is an important problem. Find a way to assign to each game G a dynamical system, continuous or discrete, because I, because I forgot to, make, to, to emphasize this. Uh, uh, there is also discrete time version, okay, where you, where you have, perhaps these are more familiar to us, uh, that x of t plus one is phi of x of t. Okay, so you know this is the the thing that gives the chaos even in two dimension in, in one dimension. So you know and and so on. So we have, we know these things a lot. And the point is the following: that uh, that uh, uh, what's the reason why I forgot to mention it? Because uh, as I have uh, incidentally, all these is are things that I learned from Georges. Okay, you know so so you know including this. Okay, you know so that uh, that uh, there are there are sort of uh, profound and and uh, not easy to explain reasons why there is no difference between discrete and and uh, you know except for details okay you know there's no difference between discrete and, and uh, equilibria so you know that that whatever you can prove for one you work a little more and prove it for the other okay i mean with with huge exceptions but but i um, you know that this is this this seems to be a good pattern okay and we'll see it actually at work here Okay, so this question has to be important. Uh, how can you find a way so that for each game you can assign a function fee? Yeah. Uh, would it suffice to have the flow be a contracting map with respect to the utility functions of the players? Um, so a contracting map is yeah so it would work it would work okay. but but uh, yeah. but yeah. that might be hard yeah. Right? yeah no no it would work i mean you know, you know to contract to a particular no no uh, so so i mean you know, there is no simple solution to this okay that i know uh so uh find a way to assign each game a dynamical system uh continuous or discrete time uh, i would be very impressed with discrete time or continuous such that the dynamics always converges to the Nash equilibrium. Okay, so let's agree that this is an interesting problem, and I'm going to to continue. All right. Uh, okay. Here's the possibility theorem. Uh, there is no such dynamics. Okay, it's it's a recent work with Jason Milonis, who is first year uh, PhD student at Columbia, uh, Georgios, and the Kelly Spendlov, who is an al algebraic topologist from uh, Oxford. Not, not, not at Google, I believe. Yeah. yeah. So to clarify, the quantifier is you're even allowing to change the dynamics per game. Like yeah. Uh, I mean, every game, uh, for every game, I want to have, let's say, I don't even require a polynomial time algorithm. I want to have sort of some kind of, my God, this is rough. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid mask. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, you know, they were burning my eyes. So you know, but but I, but I didn't. Yeah. So is the theorem saying there exists a game for which yeah. there are no yeah yeah, yeah 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 that's exactly what the theorem says. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for giving away my budget. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, so so uh, for proof of the possibility theorem, it's, uh, it uses something called in topology, algebraic topology index theory. Uh, in uh, yeah, in particular the Conley index. Okay, so this name you'll hear again. Uh, algebraic topology and dynamical system. So it's it's sort of you know it it, uh, it uses knowledge from this field. And uh, yeah, what is an attractor? Okay, attractor you have heard the, the you know it's an important. Uh, 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 concept it is something that attracts okay it is it is a set so that uh, everything that starts there stays there but moreover something that is not exactly there and ends up there okay so it attracts uh, and uh, okay so that's that's what that's what uh, uh, the last line says uh, and uh, and uh, uh, okay find so basically what the theorem says Find a dynamic such that the Nash equilibria is an attractor of it. Okay, uh, that's not sufficient. How about cycles and spurious fixed points? Right. I mean, you know what I'm saying. I mean, also, okay, so so that that's uh, uh, so that's not good. Okay. So for every g, find the dynamics phi. So I'm restating the problem. Okay. Such that the Nash equilibrium of g is an attractor of phi that has an empty dual repeller. In other words, empty dual repeller. Is the stuff that don't go to this attractor. Okay, so you want this to be empty. Everything will go to this attractor. No cycles, no spurious fixed points. Okay, so that's this. This is this is the this is the the, the what we are after, and we are going to show that this does not exist. Uh, so, Christo, can, can you find all the Nash and first? Like, are you talking about? Is there a computational constraint here? I can find all the Nash and have. Uh, there's no computation of the You see. Sorry. Uh, there's, a, there's a secret here. Yeah. The issue is that there might be multiple Nash equilibrium. No. Oh. The issue is that we cannot do it. Yeah. <laughs> even if there's just yeah, yeah. one. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Because there are more Nash equilibrium than you think. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Like if it's not generic, if, yeah. there, if there are some. We'll, we'll, come, we'll, we'll come to that. <laughs> okay. <so. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> So, um, okay. Uh, so, I think I skipped the slide. Okay. And if this creates subtle restrictions on the Nash equilibria. Okay, that are not obvious. Okay, the whole space of mixed strategy X must be eventually converged to the Nash equilibria. So, basically, what we want is if it has not do the repeller. We want everything to eventually come to the Nash equilibrium. Okay. Uh, and uh, and uh, as a result, the Nash equilibria must look a little like X. Okay. Here is why. Because, sort of, you know, imagine that I have a set. Okay. And I, I apply a, 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 a semi flow to it. Okay. It becomes this set. This set is a, has to be a little like this. Okay. You know, in other words, in some in some in some deep structural manner, which I'm going to explain. In other words, in the in the deep nature of their cycles that exist in this space, cannot change. Yeah. Um, there's a there's a gap. I'm still missing something, which is the game has to generate the dynamics in some fashion, but there's some flexibility in how dynamics generate the game. You can't just. I mean, I can always just say. Go to the Nash equilibrium for this game, and just everything should converge there. There has to be some constraint with it. Uh, okay, let's try that. Okay, uh, this means that uh, that you go through a Nash equilibrium, and uh, you, you ignore it. Okay, so it's not a fixed. It's not a fixed point. It's not. A, it's not part of the attractor. Okay, forget my example. What, what's yeah. the, what's the rule for the dynamics? What what can no rule, no rule whatsoever. Every, every it cannot be done. Every Nash equilibrium has to be fixed point. Right? Huh? It has to be not a fixed point. It has to be that all the attractor has to be precise in the set of Nash equilibrium. Okay. Okay. So I I suspect that a slide later people will say ah <laughs> okay so 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 wait you give me this slide uh, okay. In particular, they have to, they must have the same Conley index. What is the Conley index? Uh, uh, the Conley index uh, is uh, so x 
and the Nash equilibrium of G must have the same coordinates for every J game G. Okay, so I'm slowly uh, uh, revealing to you the constraints that this that this thing puts right. Uh, Conley index captures the structure of the cycles in a set. It is an invariant. The dynamical system does not change it. Okay, so it is. I mean, well, let's let's not define exactly what it is, but it, but that's its basic property. So let's uh, start looking for some weird games. Okay, and there is a one which uh, we call M uh, to honor uh, Mertens. Mertens, uh, and it's an interesting example uh, uh, that they came up in the study of statistically sta stable Nash equilibria, and uh, uh, it is uh, it is uh, 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 this uh, this game. It's a, it's a, it's a subtle uh, variant of rock paper scissors, uh, three by three. Uh, it was also studied by Benaim for for half power and Saren ten years ago. In their attempt to prove exactly the same theorem. Okay. So don't, I mean, I don't think you'll figure it out. I'll tell you the secret source that it has. Okay, the secret source is uh, 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 M is highly degenerate, and the Nash equilibria are a hexagon on the boundary of the simplex product. Okay. Imagine a simplex product, you can't imagine it's four dimensions, okay, but imagine, imagine, imagine a polytope. And a hexagon on its on its on its facets. Okay, that's the Nash equilibria. That's the set of Nash equilibria of this game. Okay. Now that I explain this, isn't it intuitively obvious that you cannot have a a a, 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 a flow a uh, you know, imagine the following, okay? I give you the earth and I let you, I tell you, every every molecule in the earth must go to the equator. Sorry, to the equator. Yes, exactly. Okay. How do you do that? I mean, I know that many of you think you can do that, but consider the center of the earth. It will stay there. It will be a spurious uh, fixed point. Okay. So this is the idea. And it takes uh, two pages of math. I don't understand to to, to prove it. Okay. <laughs> Everybody got this? Yeah. So the hexagon only the edge. Uh, the the whole the whole hexagon. Okay. So you know, in other words, the points, the edges, everything. Okay. That the, the, these are the nice equilibria. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I meant the peri the perimeter of a hexagon. I'm sorry. I meant the perimeter of a hexagon. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, remember, I goal to find a game whose Nash equilibria are not all at all like X. Okay, and indeed, a hexagon does not look, look at all like the for the, for the simplex product. But in what precise mathematical sense? In the sense captured by the Conley index. Okay, the measure the nature of it the cycles, since the com the, the Conley index. As I am asking you to believe, is invariant. In other words, if you apply a, 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 a dynamical system transformation to it, stays the same. To the, to the body stays the same. We are done. Okay, there is no dynamics for this game. Okay. Okay. It also holds for for for, for uh, you know. There is also a proof. Uh, you know, it takes a little a little trouble, but but in some sense. Uh, Ceremonial trouble. So you know you do the same things that you have done elsewhere. So you know to 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 transfer it to transfer the pool to discrete time. Discrete time, but the function, the mapping itself must be continuous. The the the, the, the flow. The yeah. flow must be continuous. Yeah. 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 And that's the I mean, uh, yes, you have to must be continuous. Yeah. Good. Uh, so okay. So that's. Uh, Uh, can be extended with work to discrete time. Just one yeah. clarifying question. So this is this is excluding the possibility of finding dynamics that convert that have that all Nash equilibria are fixed points, right? Or that all Nash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. if we only wanted one, we wouldn't have a problem, right? Uh, 
Well, yes, uh, you know, so I'm coming to that. Actually, 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 so you know, the, the next, you know, the, the next uh, result. Okay, so here is another. How about non-degenerate? Okay, so this is the general. We know that almost all games are non-degenerate. How about approximation? Okay, so here is the theorem. There is no dynamics that converges to a 10% approximate mass equilibrium for almost all normalized games. Okay, not for almost all. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, what did I what did I want to say? Uh, for, uh, for not for almost all that's wrong for uh, uh, for a for a for a full dimensional ball okay so so please forget for almost all okay uh, it's it's a long, you know, you understand what I'm saying so what I'm saying is that there, you know this is sort of you know almost this is sort of measure zero stuff okay the, 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 but you can find a full dimensional ball okay of games for which and large sort of you know it's not infinitesimal large one uh, you know relatively large one so that uh, you cannot have a temp you know all temper you know you cannot have a dynamics for these games that converge to ten percent approximate Nash equilibrium. Okay. If you remember, ten percent is what is what is, is sort of you know what we can do in polynomial time about okay. So, so just to be clear, uh, games with isolated equilibrium, are, 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 does this both contain uh, games with isolated equilibrium? No, or no, 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 no. So basically, there are perturbations of this where uh, oh, where the where the yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. You make perturbations. So where where at ten percent, this is how it looks. Yeah. You know, not just. You know, basically, it's a three-dimensional projection. It looks like that. As long as you don't close the cycle, you you, you have the possibility. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, if you go to twelve percent, this hole closes, sure. and then you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, how about the non-degenerate exact? Okay, so so that's 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 a, you know. Let's now let's now okay. Let's stick to Nash equilibrium to, 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 to exact Nash equilibria. So you know approximation of Nash equilibrium is, is, is for computer science nerds. Uh, and, and, and let's talk about let's try to let's try to say so you know what, what happens if it's non-degenerate. Okay. If it's non-degenerate, uh, then there is a way to do it. Okay. And I think I want to draw it for you. Yeah, of course. Uh, so imagine that this is this is the imagine that this is the the two by the the uh, uh, two simplex uh, product, okay? And uh, so and you want to create a dynamic, okay? So here is what you do: you pick a Nash equilibrium, the point. Uh, it's it's a non-degenerate game, so it has a not number of isolated Nash equilibria, okay? So you pick one of them. And from a point here, I'm going to define for you the direction and speed of it of the of the of the point. Okay, the direction is goes there. The speed is proportional to the utility deficit versus the best response. The Nash gap. The Nash gap. Thank you. Okay. And 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 uh, if you think about it, what we will do is we will go there, and if it happens to go by, to pass by an exact Nash equilibrium, it will stay there. So all the Nash equilibrium will become the fixed points of it. So you only need to compute one equilibrium. Yes, exactly, okay. exactly. But is this easier or harder than computing all? <laughs> okay. Right. So right. So so you know. Of course, this got it. You know, the problem is that you have to, to and, and the conjecture is finding what you convey converging dynamics in non-degenerate games is impossible unless P equals P that in polynomial time. Okay. Is this clear? So, in other words, I conjecture that this trick is the only essentially the only thing you can do. Okay. And there is another conjecture about which we have thought a little less, but which I find very compelling. Finding a utility increase in converging dynamics in polynomial time 
Is it possible that this people? Okay. Uh, I don't know how many hardcore theory, uh, sort of uh, uh, complexity theories are in this uh, audience, but uh, but if you but uh, 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 we have nobody has proved the theorem like this. Okay, that creating a mathematical object that has some properties, some properties that are very global, sort of a dynamical system that uh, that uh, that uh, uh, okay that. Uh, uh, is is intractable okay so you know so it will be I, in my opinion it would require some new uh, some new method and only uh, do we have a concrete idea how the input should be the but should be the input and the output i, mean, I want to output the dynamics what does it mean that okay uh, I, I know okay so you know i you know i could i could I could sit down for ten minutes and write a much longer theory, a much longer conjecture that will answer these questions. But it would take the fun out of oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, so you know, part of the fun is to sit down, define your 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 model that will prove this theorem, okay? Then then prove it, okay? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't think your paper will be rejected because sort of you know you 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 did did the wrong thing, okay? Yeah. So if you. I'm trying to think about so if such dynamics were possible they would be hard to simulate no no you know but because dynamics by dynamics i mean no, you 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 need you need euler's algorithm right i mean uh, uh, sort of you know how right, to, uh, you sorry you can you know. compute the fixed point if you had the dynamics just by running by running but running it is x space exponential space right so yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you're running general dynamics, you don't know how to do it. Okay. Yeah, I, I should I should have mentioned this in detail. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the possibility here in the conjecture only hold for the kinds of dynamics treated here. Okay. In other words, uh, uh, dynamics, uh, so in the sense of uh, dynamical systems. And uh, and uh, continuous or discrete time, okay. And I um, mean, you know, for example, what about stochastic dynamics? And and we know that that uh, that uh, Maskolel and, and Hart have uh, have uh, something here, okay. And stochastic dynamics, if you think about it, uh, of course the converter can convert to to, to approximate Nash equilibrium, right? I mean, you know, the following converges to Nash equilibrium. Pick a point at random. Okay. If you do it enough times, this will convert to Nash equilibrium to an approximate Nash equilibrium. Because then the most approximate Nash equilibrium have a ball. Okay. And, and eventually you read it. You mean it will read it? Huh? You mean it will, <laughs> it will come close once and it, it will come close infinitely often to no, no, it will it will. No, no, the issue is that it's no, no, it, it's approximate. It is yeah. approximate. You still mean no, no, it will, will find an approximate Nash equilibrium once and stop there. Okay, so you take points at random and you check whether it is a, it is a Nash equilibrium. A, an approximate Nash equilibrium. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and this will convert in exponential time. I mean, almost at all. Yeah. I cannot ask continue. I mean, yes. <laughs> Sort of. I mean, no, what 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 Maskolel and Hart do is is much more sophisticated, much more constrained, because because they they require that you have a limit, very limited, uh, very limited uh, information. Okay, but I'm saying from from my standpoint, so you know that's not an that's not an interesting problem. Okay, you know, they're interested in general sort of full information. I guess I wanted to contrast it with uh, the discrete algorithm that goes through a grid. Yeah. You wouldn't, have, you wouldn't be happy with that either, right? So, like your theorem from earlier, yeah, uh, imposes a lot more constraint. Yes, exactly, 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 exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'm done. I'm done with the most security results, and uh, and uh, and. Uh, uh, and I'm going to the what now part. Okay? What now part? Okay? So uh, it seems to go compatible not only with computation but with dynamics. Okay. Uh, can I ask actually? Okay, now I'm confused. Baby. 
Don't say suspension because if you, <laughs> if you have a grid, okay, if there's a grid, and define the dynamic that goes through this grid, in exponential time, it's going to find something apart. Um, what is the problem here? Uh, the problem is that uh, that uh, you cannot design the dynamics that does that. I see. Yeah. Okay, sorry. No. So, I mean, we have tried. You know, so we have, so let's continue to I mean, you know, I mean, the, the thing, I mean, you know, here is one thing you can do, okay? You can, you can, go wherever you are, you find your support and you check in polynomial time if it has an asymptote. And if you, you go there, okay? Otherwise, you go to a neighboring uh, support. Right. Okay, you can't, you know, you, these are okay. The, these are, yeah, yeah I mean, you, know, you can, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot have, you know, you cannot have uh, the dynamic system do this. Okay, there, there are many ideas out of this. Okay, so, uh, so I'm coming to the important part of my book. Okay, you know, so basically, uh, it seems compatible not only with computation but also with the dynamic system. Okay, and 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 uh, and. This has to be bad news for dynamics, right? Or it is bad news for the mass equilibrium, right? So you know, or is it, or it is the the the, the straw that, that breaks comes back. Okay, uh, should we replace the mass equilibrium with a new sol solution concept based on dynamics? So the the prediction that economy and economy should do from the game is the fate of the dynamics. Okay, just follow the dynamics. Uh, I mean, no, that's what the solution concept is, the prediction. Well, what's your dynamics? I'll tell you what will happen. Uh, so, for example, uh, with, with Georges, who wrote a paper with the, the, the people at, 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 uh, at uh, DeepMind, who uh, basically, to optimize their players, they follow the dynamics. Okay, so no, they don't, they don't, uh, they, you know, they, they, they don't look for an equilibrium. Uh, so the question is which dynamics okay it does not matter much but let us fix as a running example the replicator dynamics no no regret learning okay the continuous part of no regret learning and uh, okay, I don't know what's going on uh, so where do dynamics end up uh, and uh, there is uh, there, you know so that's that's the question okay Let's fix the dynamics, and we can argue after that what it's going to be. Uh, Peyton Young, in 1993, wrote a beautiful paper, The Evolution of Conventions, for, and, it, and it gave a dynamics that works for something called weekly uh, uh, acyclic games. What is a weekly acyclic game? A weekly acyclic game is the following, OK? So I'll try this on you. And if you don't understand what I'm saying, please interrupt me and ask questions. Uh, consider the uh, the sort of the game, okay? Uh, consider the game the essentially the uh, uh, the 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 how should I say uh, the uh, the graph whose nodes are the uh, uh, the pure, pure, uh, pure strategy, pure, the, the pure strategy profiles, okay, combined uh, for, 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 for both. And uh, they are, uh, they are sort of connected by directed edge, if uh, that one is, is the best response, okay? Okay, that's a, that's a graph that you all and well, I like and understand, right? I mean, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very, it's an exponential graph for large games and so on. So, you know, but, but it's, it's, a, it's, a well, it's a well understood graph. I don't think many papers have really done about it. So, you know, but, but we all, we all uh, uh, know and love it. Uh, so basically, weekly acyclic games are these games for which the sync connected component of these graphs are single nodes, are pure Nash equilibrium. Does that make sense? Okay, ask, ask, ask me a question. I'll, I, I, I can explain it. But I mean, no, that's what this weekly secret games are. So the, uh, node, the nodes are strategy profiles? The nodes are strategy profiles. And, and an edge is if- Best response. It's the best response for all the players. Directed edge. Okay. 
for no, a single player. For, for a single player. For a single player. For a single player. So each player has a different edge. So I mean don't consider who has the edge. So you know it's it's the edge of the graph. Okay. And basically it says who can go to whom by by a sequence of, of, of best responses. Okay. And uh, and uh, the point is that this is a directed graph. It may or may not be uh, strongly connected. If it's not strongly connected, it has strongly connected components. Some of them are seen. In other words, no edge comes out of them. Okay. And these are equilibrium. No. These are the equilibrium. No. Not necessarily. Uh, I mean, they're not. I mean, what do you if mean? They are singletons. They should yeah. be. Yeah. Yeah. If they are singletons, exactly. If they are singletons. They are they are the Nash equilibrium, the pure Nash equilibrium of the game. If they are not single dots, then it's not a good classical game, and Peyton Young's uh, uh, theory does not apply. What I'm going to propose is they are not single dots, they are the equilibrium. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so and I mean we have we have a theorem to, to support. Uh, okay. Uh, so, for example, uh, this is this is uh, this is matching pennies. It has only one com com one collect component. This is the coordination game. Uh, it has it has uh, it has uh, one, two, th three, four, five. No, no. Uh, how many does it have? It has five. Five. Uh, five. Uh, uh, no, it has uh, has two single equilibria, right? I mean, yeah. Yes. Um, so where do the dynamics end up? Maybe to pure equilibrium end cycle. So I mean, you see what I'm saying? That uh, that these two examples tell us that either they cycle, or they end up, or they end up in in, uh, in pure equilibria. So I mean, oh, maybe the pure equilibrium end cycle is there, but that's not right because uh, things can be very complicated. Okay, even for two player games. Uh, so. How do you generalize Peyton Young's approach to general games? All right, and uh, it will take a little, a little. So uh, here is here is what people have been thinking about. You know, the, the, to encourage the genius who did a lot of things, including found dynamical systems, and uh, he was able to uh, to uh, pick the. Most beautiful low hanging fruit, okay, from this theory, which is the Poincare Bendixon theorem, okay. Uh, Poincare, ben Poincare sort of uh, stated it and, uh, st and said that I know how to prove it, and everybody believed him. And Bendixon did the work, okay, so you know, so <laughs> 10 years later, okay. Anyway, so, so uh, the Poincare Bendixon theorem says the following uh, that, uh, that in two dimension, in two dimensional dynamical systems are very well behaved. They either cycle or they go to a fixed point. Okay. Or there is this other behavior which is uh, which is mixed and sort of you know and yeah, slightly more complicated, doesn't matter. Okay, that that morally they either go to fixed point or they cycle. And uh, uh, the, for the rest of the 20th century, essentially, uh, people said, but but in three dimensions that does not hold, okay. <laughs> And uh, then they discover that there is chaos in three dimensions. All right. So and then then the sort of you know they had what I call Poincaré beddings on envy. Okay. What can we what can we do in three dimensions that will bring us back to the beautiful uh, 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 situation we had in two dimensions? Okay. And finally, uh, uh, Conley in the 1980s. Uh, uh, Proved what is called the fundamental theory of dynamical systems. And I'm going, I'm going to explain it to you. So you know, it's 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 a it's a beautiful, beautiful theorem. Uh, what is a chain recurrent set point? Okay, a, a point is recurrent if if you let it go, it's going to cycle. Okay, what is chain recurrent? It it will cycle approximately. In particular, it will go for a while, then it will make a little jump. Then it will continue for a while. It will go make a little jump, and it will end up where it is. Okay. This means, you know, that that 
for any epsilon there is an n so that you define you know you you, you know you define sorry you define that the point is a chain recurrent if for every epsilon there is an n so that this can happen okay so basically uh, uh, as uh, uh, Poincare's Bennington theorem essentially says uh, that uh, that uh, that uh, uh, here here um, okay um, so Poincare's theorem says that any dynamical system ends up in some recurrent set drawn there by the Puno function where the point is also considered the fixed point was also considered a recurrent set okay well uh, uh, Conley generalized it 80 years later to chain recurrent sets okay uh, and many dimensions okay uh, so uh, So uh, I have uh, I have mixed my slides. I'm, I apologize. Uh, okay. So this is this is the, the explanation of the poincare bennington theorem. But but I think I think I think I I, I, I did explain it uh, without the slide. Okay. So. Any dynamical system ends up in some chain recurrent set drawn there by a Lyapunov function. Okay, that's the, in other words, the ideal behavior prevails in, in more than two dimensions as long as you screen your eyes a little. Okay, so you know you, you consider cycles, some some people, some things that are not cycles. No, there is there is a beautiful adversarial interpretation of this. Okay, it says sort of you know that Alice can convince Bob that that is that Bob is recurrent by only manipulating. Bob's uh, uh, figure, floating point uh, uh, accuracy. Okay. So this has uh, five uh, chain recurrent sets. Uh, two are stable and three are unstable. This has one chain recurrent set. Uh, and the, the chain recurrent set of the game com comprises a directed acyclic graph, okay, a hierarchy, a DAG. And uh, this is the matching pennies DAG, and this is the coordination games DAG, okay? And these are the sinks, all right? So intuitively, the fate of the game are the sink CRSs of the dynamics. And the whole bag can be messy, possibly infinite, but the six CRSs are nice. Okay, before going on, we have to fix two problems. Conversions can be very slow, and the solution is you, are, you uh, introduce arbitrary small noise, and then uh, pure Nash equilibria, extraneous pure Nash equilibria will, 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 will uh, uh, emerge. So you you moderate a little this uh, this uh, arbitrary small noise. Okay, so you know this is this these are these are technical details that uh, uh, so this is this is a slide that's supposed to introduce you to what is the graph that I I, I talked to you before, uh, and it's this guy and uh, the structure of directed graphs they have things uh, and and uh, and. Uh, the, let's say the basic dynamics. Uh, so, what is the learning dynamics that I'm proposing? Basic dynamics, let's say replicator, plus arbitrarily uh, small Gaussian noise. Uh, but we want it to be support preserving in the following sense that it is, it is a noise such that it does not acquire new dimensions. Okay. If you are, I mean, the, the, Intuitive uh, uh, the inspiration for this is evolution. Okay, so if you, if, you know, so you know, if uh, the trait is extinct, is extinct. Okay, they cannot. Okay, uh, and uh, and uh, uh, exception to support preservation at pure strategy profiles, noise means that a random strategy is reintroduced at a tiny level, so that you don't get uh, you don't get extraneous uh, uh, pure Nash equilibrium. 
So this is the dynamics. And our theorem is the following. In any game, the learning dynamics that I described almost certainly ends up in a stressing, strongly connected component of the pure strategy dynamic graph of the of the of the of the best response graph. Okay, if you think a pure uh, uh, a pure uh, strategy, a, a pure uh, sorry, a, a sync, uh, a sync connect strongly connected component is essentially a generalization of pure Nash equilibrium. Okay, just uh, the mixed Nash equilibrium. Okay, so so I'm I'm telling you let's let's not go with the mixed Nash equilibrium. Let's generalize the unequivocally reasonable concept of pure Nash equilibrium to somebody in a different direction, and then you get sort of a different solution concept. So that's. Uh, how am I doing with time? Okay, okay. So, so, uh, uh, okay. So, all right. So, so this is this this retells the story that I told you, and I want to tell you. Uh, uh, so, follow the dynamic take two. Okay, that's 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 a very short that's a very short uh, discussion. Uh, what is a game for you? Is it a specification of an as equilibrium selection problem? Because that's what they have been telling us. Or an algorithm that maps a distribution over a mixed strategy profile, the prior of the gauge's behavior, to a distribution over a set of Markov chains, the various possible outcomes of the dynamics. Okay? So, for example, uh, distribution, suppose that we have a distribution over the domain. Okay? And like this, okay. So what is the what is the, uh, what is the the probability? Here? You know, so that's the prior. What is the probability here? Is the measure of the region of attraction, okay? Whatever is the measure of this, that's 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 the probability of this, and the rest is the probability of of uh, of uh, I guess this. So the measure of the strongly connected component is uniform, or is it uh, some other potential? Uh, a great question. We have written about this, so you know, but 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 it's it's so you know it's a little complicated. I mean, you have to define, you know, so you know, and we we have proposed something original, but we have to define it. Uh, so if C is a coordination game, then C the game the coordination game is uh, is a function that maps. Distributions to distribution, and if the if the argument is uniform, the the uh, the distribution the, the the distribution is basically uh, uh, fifty percent uh, one uh, coordination, fifty percent the other co coordination. Uh, matching pennies is uh, is uh, uh, from any distribution, you end up uh, doing this. Okay. So you know these are two examples of what I think the semantics of a game should be. Two very simple examples. Yeah. So I, I want to be sure that I follow the concept. We are bored a little bit by Nash equilibria, and now we want to understand something better. So we say that the game is not the game. Disappointed. Disappointed. Yeah. Disappointed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 yeah. So we want to say a game should stop to be like the, the matrix the game should be like also the behavior that we have decided inside yeah. The, yeah. The, and let's find out what are the the, the limit points of uh, yeah. that story and call them yeah. 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 Uh, so sorry this notation doesn't have the dynamic so the distribution yeah the, 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 no you have to fix the dynamics yeah, fix it can be okay. any dynamic or is it uh, so so i mean no we have we have we have been working with an example of, of this dynamic of, of, of the replicator dynamic. But any reasonable for any reasonable dynamics where reasonable means sort of you know uh, not going against uh, again exactly against utility uh, uh, would would support the theorem that I told you before. So you know the, the, of the convergence theorem. Okay, so there, there is uh, there is uh, there are some mild, very mild uh, assumptions that you make. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because you were saying that the learning dynamic, you basically the learning dynamic for you is that is uh... the learning dynamic is uh, is uh, some reasonable dynamic to start with, uh, equal to this noise, this noise, noise. Okay. 
different dynamics leading to different order sets? Uh, the, the distribution will be different. But for different dynamics, the connected components will also be different or not? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. No. Uh, it, it will be the same, right? I mean, no, my... well, you know, some, I mean, you have to, you can, uh, let's say, you can definitely generalize your particular, particular dynamic under mild assumptions. You can show that, like, the same number, like, limit sets would be there as, as, uh, as the units of this uh, stochastic process. But, uh, but there are some constraints to the dynamic for this kind of result. But you generally, it could change. In general, the kinetic components will be different for different dynamics. If you, I mean, if you develop a totally other, so this is not, this result requires some assumptions that say beyond continuity. So you want something that's like meaningfully. The components are, are, are follow from, uh, from the, from the uh, best response uh, graph. So this does not depend on dynamics. Okay, the components. Now, whether all components will be reached, or you can avoid some by manipulating the dynamics, you know, so you know, we have never thought about it. Okay. There was another question. Um, so, what's the, you had initially the state variable was, um, was always the next strategy profile. Is that have to be the state variable of this framework? You can't, like, you can't have time involved as the state variable? Uh, a good point. No, no. Because no. I no regret dynamics, you, you sort of take averages. Oftentimes, you look at the average action of the players over time. Uh, yes. So you kind of need t as part of the state. To so, but I mean, no, we don't, we don't do that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, for the average, uh, the moon has hit there. Okay. Yeah. So you know. Yeah. What does this picture look like if you switch from replicator, for example, to uh, smooth best response dynamics? In that case, in matching pennies, it converges to the, the mixed equilibrium. Uh, okay. Yes. I mean, so yes. I mean, I guess, I guess you knew that, right? I mean, all that, 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 that. Uh, you can change. So uh, here we need the property of uh, support preservation that we so, the, so that's uh, so because uh, uh, the way uh, the way we start to close the better process. So we need a property that that replicate the plans that is invariant with the support. So support never grows. But it does have a no, support grows and there's no yeah, yeah, there it does grow and he's saying it's not allowed to grow. Uh, for the uh, for this type of the actual consider is the support that is not allowed. Sorry, yes, yes, I mean, right. But I guess on a broader picture, though, I mean, the conclusions, and it's, it's not a flock, but the, the conclusions would depend on the dynamics. And it's really a pair that you're looking at. I mean, Dynamics. You are right. You are right. You are right. I mean, so uh, we should have been a little more diligent to to uh, uh, give the true class of dynamics for which this holds. Okay, so you know, but but we have not done it. No, frankly, we have not written this paper yet. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it, it does not convert. It does not. Con the class does not contain optimistic, very, like optimistic multiplicator and stuff like that. So, are we uh, continuous or this paper? Yeah, what is your Yeah. Yeah, so like, uh, all right, so the, the results that we talk about the non the non the impossibility results, these are like both or uh, continuous and discrete, and they're usually just in continuity. Now, these results about uh, things like um, the components, they're, they depend on the dynamics you send. So let's just say, choose your favorite dynamics. And two during the distribution of the state space, and then see what what is the distribution of the different factors. Right. So I guess what I'm trying to understand is the sync connected components of the pure pure strategy test response. Yes. Uh, so there is a claim that no matter the dynamics in some class, uh, we see a distribution of uh, oh, right. uh, you know nodes in some connected. Yeah. Components, right? yeah. 
this is also about continuous time, continuous time or the state time? Okay. All right. But I want to remind you that I have stopped talking about this. I'm talking about something new, okay? Which is uh, which is that, that that you can very, I believe, very productively look at the game as a mapping from prior distributions to perceived posterior distributions. So, and in some sense, this is fundamentally useful. Okay, so you know, if, if you, you know, I believe it is. I mean, no. I'm not saying it's the right way to look at games, but it is one way to look at games that has not been explored. Okay. And uh, my point is that, uh, that uh, for example, I mean, and I gave you two, 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 point, two, two, uh, two easy examples here because that was everything is very bad, I think. So this defines a major open problem in my opinion. Develop efficient algorithms which, given a game and a high level description of uh, so some kind of the priors, uh, say uniform, find a high level description of the resulting asymptotic distribution. Okay. This to me is, is, is worth thinking about. So that's what I'm saying. Uh, and to finish where we started, to put it differently, John Ash based his solution concept on the most sophisticated theorem topology of his time. It would be fools not to do the same. Okay. So I have a non technical question, I guess. Um, how are you thinking about like the four cycle and matching pennies as a solution concept? Like, like how should I think of that as a prediction of behavior uh, if I'm given that case? So, uh, so I mean, the example I showed, I used those two as examples. And I was saying that they are explicitly a a something that transforms one distribution on the on the on the on the on the. On the uh, uh, strategy profile space to another. The prior to the posterior. And this is what the game should be. I mean, you know, having fixed the dynamics. Right, then I guess I'm saying, like, are you saying that if, if we watch people playing this game, then we expect them to cycle in this way? That's what I'm like, what, uh, what is the prediction of like? So, so I mean, uh, so, I'm, I'm afraid that I, I botched the talk in the following sense that, that that I didn't explain clearly that I talked so far about about this stuff about about the sync on the component components, but now I'm going to tell you something new. And the new stuff is that the game fundamentally is a mapping from a posterior distribution of strategies from you know, strategy space to, from a prior distribution to posterior distribution. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm changing completely. I'm forgetting now the mark of uh, the mark of stuff. Make sense? Okay. Yeah. To follow up on that point, so, so even in the evolution of conventions, there's a prior distribution and a posterior distribution. In, in that case, it was arguing one, one equal thing. But then there were follow up papers that said if you change the dynamics, you change the distribution. Mm -hmm. model, it, it, uh, it kind of opens up anything still that, that, uh, that any pure equilibrium, for example, if, if, they, uh, if there are multiple, can be made to be the stochastic and stable, the, the, the dominant. Right, right, right. Yes, so yes, yes. It's, it, it's, yes, it's an approach. And then personally, I think it's the right approach uh, to, uh, to back away from mesh equilibrium. But still, it's wide open, and unless the, the dynamics, unless there's some kind of agreement on the constraint mm -hmm. of dynamics. Yes. Yeah, we agree. Um, I guess that wasn't a question, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's great because we are in this room, we have a lot of our favorite algorithms. So, switch the server to the algorithm and then have a class of priors and combine. Thank <laughs> you.
So a, a very open-ended question, because you said that, uh, okay, I'm paraphrasing that you, in your open problem, you're saying that basically uh, we need to get some high level understanding of what the fate of the dynamics is going to be. Right. If it's okay to paraphrase it. Uh, so uh, I would just like to uh, zoom in a, a bit on this and understand what you, what you can, if you can conjecture, what structural descriptions we can accept or what kind of structural theorems we, you think we could obtain in characterizing this long-term behavior. Yeah. So, of course, not just equilibrium, not natural equilibrium, fine. But um, do, you, do you have a conjecture of what uh, this could look like or what not? I mean, I don't know about theorems and, and, and theories, uh, but I mean, no, I, I guess what, what, uh, what uh, Georges and I have been discussing is some kind of black box that sort of, you know, you, you give it some, some nice description of the input, which is the prior, let's say, uniform, okay, so, you know, or uh, a couple of uh, different uh, things. And, so and uh, there is, a, there is, a, there is a, an algorithm, a black box that tells you, okay, you know, the probability here, you know, the distribution here is like this. So we would like somehow to not to simulate the dynamics. To 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 comp yeah, without, to without, without 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 simulate the dynamics. To, to, to understand yeah. statistically, yeah. Uh, statistically probabilistically, yeah. uh, what is the final yeah. behavior yes, of, yes, yes. of that? What the game does to people? Okay. Okay. Well, what what what? Uh, right. And our conjecture is that this is always possible, or there is also a complexity. I mean, the, it's, it's going to be impossible. Okay. Right? And, and then, and then, and then let's find what is possible. What, what, what is possible. Yeah. So, if I can also like jump in this discussion, which I feel is kind of like open, but at the same time central to our to our maybe workshop. So, yeah, so, so some initial uh, like questions here with uh, Christos and, and we're focusing on things like replicator is because they led to objects that had some sort of discrete nature, like this discrete, like uh, directed graphs. And these actually are combinatorial objects that have easy description, and it's something that we can meaningfully work with, right? Uh, but as somehow you remove or like you look at more general dynamics, then the objects, the limit objects, somehow that you have to work with are becoming also. Have their own intrinsic complexity, and then and then there's a lot of back and forth in terms of like, okay, what does approximation mean in this space, right? If this limit behavior is complex, maybe yeah, like the way you know we cannot compute an exact equilibrium, exact mass, but we are okay with computing an approximate mass. Now you want to say like, okay, maybe I cannot compute an exact limit behavior. What does it mean to compute an approximate limit behavior? And I think this 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 notion of like this notion of approximation I think is new because we have to combine ideas of full topology with ideas let's say of approximation theory things are like more discrete right and I think it's relatively open ended and but, you know if I can add one one more thing I mean you know, that I hear that there are new new techniques in, in computational topology so you know that that, that seem promising so you know, in this direction. Right, right. So, yeah, I mean, uh, dynamicists have been working around with things like uh, Markov Conde uh, type of approximations, right? So, and these are some of the tools somehow that we, we, we plan to introduce in this area. But I think the question is like much more open ended, right? And then I think the, the if you give the correct framing, right? So, don't think, yeah, don't think that's. The right now we think of the computational problem of game theory as okay, the input is a game matrix, the output is some approach and as equilibrium. Okay, now we see like okay, let's think of a different game. The input is some sort of like prior over initial conditions, the output is some posterior distribution over you know, possibly correlated play. And how do you how do you approximate this black box? Computation. But the input should also be the learning dynamics. Yeah. Sorry. The input is also the learning dynamics. So that's yeah. that's yeah, you're right. Or or uh, that's absorbed as part of your black box. So your black box is parametric. So it's you know it's the game and the dynamic 
and possibly some kind of uh, random process, some noise process. Okay. Any any last questions? Well, thank Christus again.